Hi, my name is Astrology Type. Cosmic Inside Astrology. I am your co-pilot, Christina. Right now, I'm here to talk about actually Chiron and the North Node conjunction, which is going to happen on February 19th. And, you know, this is not an event that happens really, really frequently. Why not? Because of the North Node takes actually 18 years to go around all the zodiac cycles because usually it uh, stays 18 months in every individual science and uh, and the nodes are actually mathematical point of the moon and it's connected with the eclipses and Chiron is the wounded healer it takes actually 48 years to 50 uh, to go around the zodiac cycle so Usually a person has a Chiron written, which is very monumental in their life at age 48 and between 50. You know, it depends also because Chiron goes retrograde and sometimes it's affecting you a few times if it goes to retrograde. Uh, North Node is uh, the karma where you are heading in life. And actually it is showing the path that you have to take uh, what you have to achieve, what you have to, yeah, the, you know, like you have to achieve in this lifetime. This is the way you are heading. And Chiron is the wounded healer. It was a centaur who got uh, actually wounded and could heal everyone else but himself. So so his wound was really, really deep. And, uh, and you know, it is very significant, very Chiron in your natal chart where you will need to actually achieve self-healing somehow and what you need to achieve. And the degree where Chiron is for you, actually that is the age when you get either humiliated or either you get ashamed, shamed somehow and wounded somehow. It could be psychological or it could be actually physical wound as well. All right? Okay, so... We're going to actually check a little bit of history over here. Chiron North Node is then they going to conjunct the effect of Chiron North Node um, conjunction. It starts a new cycle and it's not going to affect you necessarily the same day. You know, everything in astrology is going with cycles. For example, the sun cycle is 28 to 31 days in one month, right? Uh, the moon cycle is two and a half days in one sign. Um, and then, then Saturn is, is two and a half years, uh, some the three years. Jupiter is a year. So every single planet uh, has a different cycle over here. So, so uh, obviously, it starts something new, and then it's going to unfold within certain amount of time. Usually it's when the first sextile happening between North Node and Chiron and after the sextile, the square and after the trine, usually I'm only checking major aspects over here, but that's when it's usually the term when something what started for you going to get unfold. So as you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and comment below. Let me know how did it actually work out for you. Oh, that light is very bright and okay. Mm, and my face is very shiny here. So how did it work out for you? And, you know, I would like to learn about you as well and your opinion because you we learn together. But if you're new to my channel, you know I always... Um, uh, read and uh, always uh, uh, talk about the geopolitical uh, aspect of a conjunction or square and also effect of the conjunction square or trine, you know, the astrological aspect. I am talking about the planet itself or in this case, uh, you know, Chiron is a common uh, asteroid and um, it's uh, actually orbiting between Saturn and Uranus. And uh, North Node is a mathematical point. But, you know, I'm talking about the archetype as well. And uh, history, most of the time history as well, because it's very important to know what's happened before when those two were conjuncting. 
if there is similarity, usually there is similarity in history. We always evolve, you have to understand, we're never going to go back that low again. So even if history repeats itself, you know, on point, but the spiral is going higher and higher. So actually we all evolving. Well, at least I would love to think that, you know, like we are evolving sometimes. I think humanity has no chance if you look around, but, but yeah, truly we do evolve. All right, guys. So when it happened last time, it was uh, February 19th uh, in uh, uh, 1969. And before that, it was uh, 1875 and before that, 1820, right? In areas. So there was actually, the, I'm going back only at uh, 1969 because I'm not going to back uh, in history for a long uh uh, time before but you know there we had actually a few things happening and that was like uh, one thing when when uh, they started to uh, one vehicle arrived on venus so on venus atmosphere right and that was actually two soviet spacecraft who wanted to explore venus and also that year was uh, when we the Apollo 11 module uh, landed on Eagle, and um, and uh, Apollo 11 module the Eagle landed on the Moon, and you know that was actually Neil Armstrong who 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 knows if he did or not, but you know we saw that uh, or someone was uh, um, watching that in TV. He did his first step on the Moon. I wasn't born back then. Also, that was the time when Richard Nixon actually got inaugurated as a uh, United States president, and he was the 37th president. And the other one was uh, Pierre Trudeau, you know, the, the, uh, the Canadian prime minister, the recent one. His uh, father actually became uh, Canada's uh, prime minister back then in uh, 90, uh, oh, in 69. Yes, so so that is a lot of similarity, right? Because right now his son is actually just into the going to go, maybe for another cycle for in two thousand twenty four. But I don't think so. He will be elected, but uh, he might. Uh, all right. So also, you know, in Quebec, actually, it was on February thirteenth. So um, you know, a few days before they actually bombed the Montreal Stock Exchange. Uh, and um, because of areas, North Node is related to wars and related to, to terror attacks as well. And Chiron is the wounded. And as I said, it doesn't necessarily has to be physical, uh, it has to be emotional, but it could be physical as well. So it could create some kind of terror attack as well, right? Okay, and especially because South Node is in, in the sign of peace, but that's the South Node where we've been before, you know, and right now North Node is in areas, which is like, let's confirm, you know, areas is a fire sign. It's very active, very action oriented. It's rules wars, it's rules fires, and, 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 you know, volcano eruptions, anything with North Node over there, but a lot of fiery issue could come to surface for sure. Okay, who is texting me? Step. All right. So, yes, uh, you know, but there was uh, uh, a lot of protest also in Washington, D.C., for example, and the protesters were peace protesters against the Vietnam Wars. So right now with Chiron, Chiron is the wounded healer. We want to heal the world. North Node is war. We're we we we're going to have a lot of protesters, and it's not only because Uranus and uh, Jupiter are also going to conjunct, and right before and after we're going to have chaos all over and a lot of protest social unrest this one also could create social unrest because it is like protesting for the peace because whatever happening bombing Yemen and Israel and Palestine and Ukraine and and uh, and Russia and you know China want to take Taiwan so this is crazy it's a lot of hurt Chiron is hurt and wounded and we would like to actually uh, 
um, you know, protest against that or protest for peace. But also there was um, a revolutionary movement and that was Woodstock the year in 69 when this happened, you know, like two months later, uh, Woodstock happened or three months later. And then also there was a uh, North Northern Chiron created in 69 uh, a, a major hurricane actually, uh, which killed a lot of people. So it could relate it. I didn't check actually if it was like maybe squaring to Neptune by that time, because you know, that is usually what could create water related issue there. Uh, so I most likely I think that, but right now I'm not sure about that. So I'm not gonna talk about that kind of situation. All right, so then let's talk about Chiron and analyze Chiron and analyze North Node over here. So as you know, Chiron is a teacher, a healer, and you know, it's ironic because he was not able to heal himself, as I said before. Chiron was discovered in 1977, so it was late discovered, and it is a comet orbits between Saturn and Uranus, as I mentioned before. So in nature chart, Chiron is representing, yes, where you got hurt, where you are wounded, where you are have guilt and shame. So for example, I had someone who's Chiron at 21 degrees in fifth house Aries, and uh, that person actually had to have an emergency abortion at age 21. And uh, the person was really feel guilty for a long time, even if the abortion was, you know, like because of the fetus was, was uh, damaged and, and, uh, and ill, uh, considering to the doctors, uh, the gynecologist, but, you know, she still feel guilt about that hopefully when she going to get older and as i said chiron uh, return is healing then she will be healed from that kind of trauma but you know then check your chiron where is it and what kind of trauma you have and at age 48 you will be get rid of you will be able to get rid of that kind of trauma there all right guys so you know that's why it's very important to be capable to read your chart and have knowledge about uh, the planets and the asteroids, because then you are capable to understand yourself uh, uh, in, in a very deep level, for example. So, all right. Uh, so um, what else can we say over here? Let's talk about... Um, for example, if Chiron is in areas, because right now it's in areas, right? Arius is the champion for the underdog, Chiron over here. So, so wants to fight for the underdog. Arius has a lot of energy and courage. It doesn't really think, you know, it's, it's act without thinking, a very, very initiative, very, very impulsive. So yes, could fight uh, uh, for the underdog and uh, could actually... Uh, bring in some kind of trouble uh, in this time because the initiator without thinking, as I said, would create some kind of war, right? Because of uh, areas is representing war as well, but uh, definitely helping the underdogs here. So let's see then the, the notes of the moon and the north node. North node has a Jupiterian energy a blessing energy. This is a karmic way to go to, you know, head to. In Vedic astrology, that's head of the monster, head of the dragon. Uh, and then this, it's always coming in axis. North node and south node, the, the node of the moons are coming in axis. So if the north node in areas, then the south node has to be opposition with it in Libra, right? So right now, with the areas and with the Libra, so not, we try to actually uh, have more attention in ourselves, right? Because North Node in areas is a little bit more selfish um, and, and maybe um, get away from relationship what is like not serving us anymore. But also, unfortunately, it also could like we are getting further and further for peace on earth 
And you know, if you realize that I'm not sure if it's me and I'm attracting this energy, hopefully not, but I realized that people are angry in general. They, I mean, you go out and you see a lot of anger and a lot of um, restless people, uh, confused and restless people. So that could be actually Aries North Node. It could indicate that kind of anger and, you know, unleashed anger all over on the world. Okay, so yes, they are coming in uh, in in axis. Uh, the North Node is head of the dragon, so not this tail of the dragon, but you are actually shading, you know, when you cut off the, the tail and it's uh, regrow itself, but that's you are leaving it behind the South Node. Okay, so uh, as I said before in my uh, video, like when I did a video about the North and South Node uh, moves to Aries and Libra axis, I said there are going to be a lot of divorce and a, a lot of, it's going to create a lot of people who wants to actually seek freedom on their own and, and live their own, uh, for example. So, all right, so that is a, some kind of karmic balance has to go between, right? Between those nodes, uh, between Ketu and Rahu. And they are always at uh, 180 degrees. So it's a cross opposition. So it's a heavy energy. You know, I leave something behind to, to pull somewhere. And then it's an 18 year cycle, as, as I said before. Uh, and Aries, the Aries archetype, you know, Aries ruled by Mars. And Mars is something with war, with courage, initiator, action oriented. Uh, the goddess of war, the the god of war. I'm sorry, not goddess. Goddess of war. Um, so here is the thing with this uh, Chiron and North Node uh, in Aries. It and then you know the South Node in Libra. So that has to do something with um, with healing or self on a way when you have to be more selfish. And I'm going to say that, like, maybe it's a little bit like you cannot give from an empty well, I tell my children all the time. So if you are not selfish, then you're not capable to heal yourself. If you are wounded, a wounded person cannot give to others because that is in pain. For example, airplane. When, when you are uh, start to depart, right? They say if there is an oxygen level gonna go down or decrease in the cabin, you put the mask on yourself first. Why? Because then you get dizzy and you're not capable to help your children, right? So you have to help yourself. You have to heal your bones first before you going to actually initiate other people healings. And it is ironic because Chiron were never able to heal himself. But this is the, with North Node conjunction, that is like he has to heal himself first. Otherwise, he won't be able to heal others. So that is actually the lecture out from this. Like you are more important right now. You need to be a little bit more selfish, which is not necessarily selfish. It could be like self Care. I would rather to use self-care, like taking care of yourself, make sure you are healed, because of that's the only way you are capable to create peace and to, to help others with that. So, all right, so let's see what can happen over here. Let me get my... Uh, Thoughts together definitely needs for change and initiate the change. So it's not like you are going to be capable to wait right now. Oh, you know, the time going to hear me. No, it won't. Or it might going to make you forget or the scar is going to get hit. Scar still there, right? So, so you will need to initiate that. You need to find an outlet for your anger or for, for you need to go to a shrink or wherever you had that kind of trauma in your childhood or in your early adulthood and heal that kind of trauma, right? So um, 
North Node is a blessing, uh, and and it you will need more compassion toward to yourself, for example, and you will be blessed with compassion. You will be blessed because you're capable to create. A, a facility for yourself where you are capable to hear, you will capable to say no finally uh, to things that doesn't serve you. For example, you felt like you always was obligated to your neighbors, to your friends to say yes. And right now it's going to be a simple no. Saying no actually could hear people. So yes, that's very, very important. All right. So let's say what's uh, gonna go uh, the direction where you are and first of all it's going to be something really fast because north node and chiron over here could for example it could heal the the areas where were fires right because of north node is a blessing fire created ashes ashes is making the soil fertile fertile and it's actually bringing new life and it's going to be uh, filled with minerals. So it could be like simple as it is, symbolic as it is, but definitely could be that. Um, you know, if we are talking about uh, anything uh, geopolitical and, and weather related, yes, it could indicate more fire related incident and accident. Uh, it could indicate geopolitically, it could be indicating like a lot of protest what I was talking about, and we are uh, we are going to protest for peace and stand together and heal each others with compassion. Uh, for example, if it is anything to do with health related situation, areas is inflammation, areas is injuries, right? Uh, inflammation so there is a lot of opportunity right now to to get rid of inflammation so for example chiron north node could be because areas is inflammation cancer could come from inflammation right so it could be like uh, like some kind of scientific uh, breakthrough with with how to reduce inflammation in the body. Uh, or, you know, a lot of people going to go anti-inflammatory diet, things like that could happen. And it could be actually really good for us, yes. But it is changing our life and we're going to be a little bit more self-care, going to be very important for us. Okay, so areas rising, uh, sun and moon. I'm going to start with you over here because of that it's going to happen in your first house, especially if you are areas rising, but secondary sun and moon, you can watch that with the uh, uh, part right now for here. So that is self-healing. Anything to do with your personal wounds, anything to do wounds on the body, Okay, uh, uh, you're going to be very assertive and your identity is changing, right? The identity is changing right now. This is a period when you are grow from new opportunities. And actually, Chiron, the wound where the wound was, uh, you are capable to overcome that. You're capable to overstep that and you're not going to live in self pity you're going to actually embrace that kind of uniqueness that kind of uniqueness that the trauma created in your life and then you are capable to change from that so for example some of you if you had some kind of um, um, burnt on your face or burnt on your body Right now, maybe you're going to have enough money or the insurance covers your plastic surgery. Uh, or, you know, you are finally going to be strong enough to expect yourself the way you are. And there is definitely, it's an inner strength over here and focusing on that inner strength. And that's how you can continue your journey. So it's, it's beautiful finding your true path, finding your calling right now right? All right. So Taurus rising, sun and moon, north not going to happen in your 12th house. 12th house, anything to do with your subconscious, if anything to do with, with uh, mental healing there. And, and Chiron over here could be something with, uh, with hidden matter, something with shame, something with trauma in your childhood, but you're not necessarily remember, but right now, north not being there, 
for you and conjuncting you might have been in therapy and somehow it's it's uh, you know uh, rise from your subconscious so right now you are capable to understand why did you have some kind of self-sabotaging behavior and you're capable to heal yourself you're going to be stop being alcoholic or drug addict or things like that or eating emotional eater because you are capable to heal yourself because it won't be hidden anymore because of Jupiter going to bring in a blessing for you and it's going to help you to grow. So mental illness, anything like that could actually heal. But for you, Taurus, this could be also very good, not just for self-healing and mental healing, but actually to take a job in a healing facility or create a facility for others where others can heal and grow. All right, Gemini rising, sun and moon, it's going to happen in your 11th house, 11th house to do anything with your social network, anything to do with your um, with your uh, group uh, and, and, and uh, with your friendship zone as well. And this is luck as well and money from your career. So actually it could heal your finances. So you might going to get a promotion over here, which is going to heal your soul uh, because it's going to give you more self-confidence, but also it can heal your social network. So if your social network before was like, all right, so I lost a lot of friends, I didn't feel connected, I felt like a stranger or an outstander or yeah, a stranger, an outcast, you know what? This is the time where I know what's going to bring blessing in to you, for you. So the community going to, to be healed and you're going to get more aspired. Uh, and, and, you know, inspiration is coming from the, the wound that you healed from. So, so inspiration is coming into your life and, and you're going to have long-term dreams you might going to also take on to a friend who needs to get here or a society or a network, a whole entire network. You can create a social media network where you are actually uh, spreading love and healing other people. All right. Let me see. Cancer rising sun and moon. It's going to happen actually in your 10th house of career, honor, public reputation, public image. Definitely, public image is healing. You're going to be blessed. You might going to get the the job that you thought you lost, or or you know you applied for, but you didn't hear back from. And that career, what you're going to take on, going to actually heal your public image and your reputation. So you might have something in your public image that was like questionable. But with this North Node and Chiron, all right, you were wounded, but right now I'm again rising and I'm again capable to do the talks out in public and I'm not ashamed anymore and my career is going to take on and I have no more fears, no more wounds. I wounds I have, but you know, no more fears. So I'm there and I'm ready for success. I'm ready to, to, to take that public standing that maybe you're going to take for office or, or politicians you're going to become. All right, Leo rising, sun and moon, what's going to happen for you guys? It's going to happen in your ninth house. Ninth house, anything to do with publication, with long distance traveling, with elder sibling, anything to do with... Um, with uh, you two being, uh, you know, with with foreign matters and your your beliefs. So, so if you lost hope or spiritual belief, or 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 if you stop believing in your religion that you were born with, I mean raised with, not born with, then you might going to find a way back to it. It's healing right now. Or if it's created some kind of trauma in your life, because maybe you were the one who was molested by a priest or whatever, it's a rabbi or priest or whatever, you are capable to heal from that kind of trauma, okay? Long distance traveling. If you didn't have your passport or you wanted to go abroad and live abroad, right now you are capable actually to go. And also you can get into a high education, what you always wanted to get into. You can get a passport. You can get your immigration status updated. So it's really, really good. And actually, if your mm, social media channel, like YouTube channel, didn't have enough followers and you were sad about that, 
then this is the time you might going to get enough followers. It's healing <coughs> your followers. All right, Virgo rising sun and moon. I just have to change the chart over here. It's going to happen in your eight house. It has anything to do with your uh, with your shared resources, anything to do with your tax refund, anything to do with your identity theft, uh, uh, like, like insurance, money, will, trust, uh, taboos, abortion. So my, you might going to hear from uh, losing a baby or, you know, adopt, uh, aborted a baby since the pregnancy, or you might even going to have an amazing tax refund and they were on, on, on you for a long time, but finally you get it. It could bring in some kind of amazing opportunity. Also, heal your sexual trauma. For example, if you've been traumatized sexually, um, it could heal that wound as well. Definitely very deep psychological blessing over here you can go through with. And, uh, you know, anything to do with, uh, you know, like maybe you had some kind of issue with your significant other, with, with the prenup and you know there was arguing should you marry or should you not because the prenup is not really nice and there is wisdom right now coming to you how to actually express your opinion and get more what you need or get what rightfully yours yes that could be that as well oh okay so let me see libra rising sun and moon is going to happen in your seventh house Seventh house, anything to do with your partnership, with legal matters, with your alliances, with your significant other, anything to do with your clientele. That is your clientele, actually. And uh, so liberalizing, you're going to actually bring in more clientele, and it's a blessing for you. You might going to actually have a lot of followers who are wounded. So maybe you have a, a channel, or maybe you do YouTubing, or or, or or newsletters, anything like that, but but people who are wounded and attached to you because you are expressing uh, your vulnerability, that's why they're going to get attached to you and follow you. So this is really good because there is some kind of connection. And, you know, it could also heal a relationship. Maybe you were wrong to me separated and right now actually you are decided not to get separated. You're going to heal the relationship. Or maybe you were wounded from a previous marriage, but right now you have an opportunity to remarry or it could bring in like healing you through illegal matters because you get justice into your life and the justice is on your side and you get healed through that and okay so scorpio rising sun and moon it's going to happen in your six house six house anything to do actually with your um with your um health work daily routine anything to do with your pets anything to do with your rental properties so you might going to actually uh, um, rent a new property where you are capable to heal because maybe your property that you rented there it had mold and right now the new property actually could help you to get healed it could be like your pet going to get healed you know out of nowhere it's going to get healed you might going to actually get new work in and what you really really going to love and and it's going to help you to grow it's going to help you to 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 experience success and through that kind of success you are capable to nurture yourself and you're capable to heal so it heals your work life it heals your service for others for example so you might going to open a, a yoga studio a gym and heal others through that or you are getting a membership and heal yourself it's encouraging to do that all right sagittarius rising sun and moon north node is going to conjunct chiron in your fifth house fifth house anything to do with joy anything to do with, with investment, speculative businesses, anything to do with your kids, the relationship with your kids could get healed. Also, it could be something great to, to have a creative project. Maybe you had a creative project, but you lost the muse. So you started to write lyrics or books, and you know somehow you didn't have inspiration or time for that. 
And right now you will have, maybe you will start to write about pain, pain in the past. You know, who did you get healed? Uh, what led you to healing? What was that kind of uh, uh, change in you? Or, or, you know, who did you change your subconscious and what helped you to, to become healthy again? Uh, but definitely it's a creative opportunity for you, even with a romantic partner or, or you know, with your children, um, anything to do with your, uh, the way you are express yourself creatively. For example, if you had some kind of issue talking in front of public, you won't have it anymore. You hear that kind of trauma, you find some kind of profound joy in life, no matter what maybe through romance, or maybe you are having a new baby, or maybe you're just creating something which is beautiful and it's going to give you profound joy. Okay, Capricorn rising sun and moon, it's gonna happen in your fourth house. So fourth house, anything to do with your uh, real estate, anything to do with your family, family root, living situation, you healing your living situation, you can buy a home. Actually, you can renovate a home. Something what was unstable, something what was wounded in your family, you capable to create peace in your family right now. Actually, you are capable right now to find your biological parents. Chiron is wound from the past and capable to stabilize that and nurture yourself and creating some kind of nurturing, healing environment at home and in your family. Uh, very, very amazing to um, for emotional uh, stability right now, to create emotional stability as well. And actually here, the family relationship, the karmic relationship, forgiveness is very important. Okay, Aquarius rising sun and moon, it's going to happen in your third house, which is communication, commerce, anything to do with sales, anything to do with short uh, distance traveling, skill-based studies, your community, nearby community, your uh, younger siblings. Okay, so there is something, a community is healing around you. You're going to create a community, which could be a healing garden, a healing village. That's my plan, actually, but I'm not Aquarius rising, but it could be really, really great for you to do that. So anything to get involved with community, which is healing and healing the environment around you. And also it could be like you're going to start to study something. It's a skill-based study, which is actually something about healing, energy healing, something about helping others. Maybe you're just going to actually heal the way you are communicating. Maybe you were brutally honest before and right now you will be beautifully polished. Actually, no, it's vice versa because of its area. So maybe you were not necessarily authentic, authentic. You didn't dare to say your truth. And right now you said it's enough. And I'm going to say my truth, no matter what, because actually I don't want to hurt myself and I don't want to create some kind of uh, illness, disease inside if I'm going to be in denial or if I'm not seeing what's bothering me, right? And then my Pisces rising, sun and moon. So it's going to happen in your second house. Second house is your finances, values, morals, the food that you eat. So you're going to be really, really uh, mindful what you put in your mouth and what you eat. And uh, your values are changing. And it's changing because of the, the shame, the guilt and the wound that you had before it had changed you. And that's why you're going to have higher expectation, you're not going to settle with people who, who are okay with you to be there. You want to be around people actually who wants to be around you. So it could be as well some kind of, you know, self-esteem, something to do with your value, like value yourself because you don't want to get wounded anymore. You have enough to get wounded, especially Pisces. You know, they are the most spiritual sign of the zodiacs and they are like sponge, like, like they, they actually absorb every single negativity around them. So this is addressing some kind of healing in personal values and you're going to value yourself and you are capable to say, say no. And it's, it's, it's something true and it's, 
it's something authentic. So it's not just a pretend healing over here. You're really going to deeply feel inside. And that's why probably you're also going to heal the way you are related to money. You're going to know you deserve more. And that's why it could create abundance for you as well. All right, guys. So if you like my video, please subscribe, like, and comment below. Share it with your uh, friends as well. And if you would like to have a personal reading with me, uh, you are more than welcome to check out my website, which is urbanbeach.org. Thank you so much for listening, liking, subscribing. I'm going to see you with another video soon. Bye for now.